All right, it's time for some more magic, but uh, this time we're going to be playing some D13. I'm going to call this Throwback Thursday, and if it gets a good reception, I'm going to I'm going to keep it going. So I got my friend uh, Covert Go Blue here. Uh, the D13 lobbies, I'm sure, aren't uh, aren't exactly alive right now, so I've uh, I've recruited him. He's going to be my my partner for this little experiment here, and uh, I'm going to just uh, spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. I'm not looking at the screen, I promise. And I'm going to be playing Goblin. Ga I don't want to play Goblin. I'm oh, sorry. What a deck to learn. I'm going to be playing. Back Instinct. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the whole Goblin thing, so... Let's play Pack Instinct, and let's uh, see what Covert is playing. And uh, I'm going to probably sit here and just uh, jam some games against him for about a half an hour. And see what decks we can come up with, what kind of matchups. So it looks like uh, we got... Uh, oh, hello. Hello there, wife. What? You... Okay. Alright. So we got a five land hand. Uh, master, pack leader, and we're on the draw. It's a bit slow. I'm going to take a new hand here. Now we've got three mana, add queen, turn two lore, two five mana cards. It's not the greatest, but uh, I'm going to have to keep it. Yeah, I got to uh, I got to lower the volume a little bit. I got two kids to sleep upstairs late at night here, just past 11 o'clock. So I don't know what color Covert is playing here yet. He's obviously going to wait until the end step to uh, sacrifice his expanse there. I used to know which decks had Expanse versus which decks had Evolving Wilds, so I don't really have that uh, that level of knowledge with the game anymore. I haven't played D13 in, in quite some time. I've played a little bit on Steam recently, so he's playing another Terramorphic. Still not giving up the second color to me. And uh, I'm just going to Nature's Lore, get another Forest into play, and, uh, and hop up to 4 mana. And pass it back to him. Yeah, D13, so, I mean... I don't even know what are in most of these decks, so he's gone black black. So I guess we'll figure out if he's playing Grim Procession here now. He's got a white source. And it could be Rogue's Gallery. Not sure what what else it could be. Terramorphic Expanse wasn't in Evolving Wilds was in the expansion decks. And Terramorphics were in the deck packs, I believe. So I'm just trying to figure out what decks had black. Uh it looks like Grim Procession to me. And he's going to play a Nighthawk. Nighthawk's a bit of a bitch. 2-3 flying. Lifelink. Death touch. Pretty solid card all around. Now I've got a Prey Pond and a Blanchwood Armor. I don't really want to put that on his creature. So I'm just going to pass and uh, get the Pack Leader into play. And I'm sure he's going to kill it with... Uh, what's the name of that spell? I don't even know the names of the spells in this goddamn game anymore. Uh, what's that one? So it's got the black and white hybrid mana, three mana, exile target creature, unmake, unmake, there we go, he's probably got an unmake in his deck. Oh, I think that deck maybe has three copies, he's playing Doom Traveler, so I play those in mine as well. And he's got another land, and he's playing uh, some kind of apparition, it is Restless Apparition, you can get plus three, plus three for three mana. And it has Persist, which means it comes back into play with a uh, plus one, or minus one, minus one counter on it after it dies, so you get another go around. So I'm just going to put the pack leader in play. I'm sure it's going to die, but then I can uh, then I can throw down the ant queen hopefully and uh, start making some tokens. So let's see what he does. I'm going to I'm going to take a beating with that apparition because I'm not going to block it. Zealous persecution is also in this deck. I don't think that really does much against me though. Jeez, it's been so long since I played this game. Trying to remember what what outs my opponent has is a uh, it's a bit uh, it's a bit dicey. So he's got four mana. He's just coming into combat here. So he's going to bring the Apparition. I know he is. I, I can't block it. I doubt he'll pump it. I'd say he probably wants to cast a spell, So, but he knows I'm not going to block it. And he gets in for four. Plays fifth land, and we're going to see uh, something big. Oh, the Blood Gift Demon. Wow. Yeah. Blood Gift Demon. So, I think what I want to do here is Ant Queen is a 5-5. Five five. And I'll get to draw a card. I have a prey upon. Question is, do I want to use it? Of course, I want to draw a card. Master of the Wild Hunt is really good. Do I want to just trade? See, uh, two for wanting myself just feels bad. But Blood Give Demon is just Blood Give Demon is just huge. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, I'm gonna have to two for one myself. I just I can't have him draw an extra card. He's down to two. Oh, that feels really bad. But I got a Master of the Wild Hunt. Um, I'm not going to attack here. 
Not going to attack here. So he's on three cards in hand now. Six mana. He's just coming in. He, he's representing. Uh, he's representing double pump with that with that apparition. He can bring that up to an eight eight. So I would take ten, which is a hell of a lot. But I'm still not going to block. I'm hoping he doesn't want to buff it. Yeah, he's got cards to play. He's got Divinity Pride. Oh Jesus. Divinity of Pride, yeah, that thing is fucking huge. Okay, um... Wow. Well, let's just play this and die next turn because he's got 10 power in the air. Draw card. Yes, I do. Terra Stomper. Doesn't help. Drop a Blanchwood. Swing for 11. Lose the game. That's how it's gonna go. Attack. I'm gonna blame it on my wife. She came in, she disrupted my mojo. Uh, and I kept a bad hand. That's that's exactly what happened there. Now he's got 11 power in the air because he gets uh, he gets the little token there. So that's game one. Game one to covert. Well, 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 well. At least, at least he's being a gentleman about it. And uh, I'm just coming in for the 10. All right, game one. Oh, that was a quick one. Okay, let's see what other decks we can play here. What other decks can we play? Pretty excited about playing Duels 13 though, and I don't know if any uh, any of the viewers out there, if you used to play Duels 13 or not, if you're a bit nostalgic for it, I certainly was. So, uh, yeah, wow. That was a letdown. Damn the women, they always come in at the worst times. They always do. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's just spin the wheel again. Let's spin it. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Let's go. Sepulchral Strength. I will. I, that's a powerful deck. I'm certainly going to. I'm certainly going to play that. And let's get on to game two. See how many games I'm gonna. I'm gonna play for a half hour here now and see how many games we can. Uh, we can squeeze in here. And I promise you, if I land on goblins again, I will be keeping them. So I don't have any black mana, but I do have two copies of this guy, which uh, it lets me. Uh, search for basic lands. Yeah, 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 two. So this is good. I'm on the draw, but I'm going to keep this because I got two of those and, and the mana to cast them. So again, he's playing uh, Terramorphic Expanse. So, oh, we picked up black mana. That's good. That's good. Let's just put the forest in place. I go. I've also got Drana here. Drana's, uh, Drana's a nice creature. And I've got the Metallic Slime, which uh, just splits into two two twos, and those two twos split into, into one ones. So. He's playing Mindstorms. Or potentially, I suppose he could be playing Mana Master. I've got a Pernicious Deed here. Pernicious Deed is pretty good. He just wiped the whole board for for X, whatever, you know, you can set the value of X to whatever you want to be. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice removal spell, and that's, that's a bit of an understatement to call it nice. It's fucking ridiculous, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... He's got Mana Leak in his deck, I think, are the only counters. But he's putting down the uh, he's putting down the dragon nuts, which is fine for a turn or so. I'm gonna start drawing in some removal. This deck is uh, this deck is packed with removal, but I don't have any of it here now. Besides besides this thing. So next turn, what is the activation on this to draw a card? It's two mana, two mana. So I won't be able to play my elder and activate that next turn. It's kind of annoying. So he's just going to uh, he's just going to arc lightning two to my face, kill that thing. Pump up his dragon knot, and uh, so I'm down to 15. Well then, I'm just gonna get two swamps because uh, Drana. Whoops, one, two. Okay, that was weird. All right, there's those lands. Got lots of land. He plays another expanse, and like I said, he gets me down to uh, he gets me down to 15. So I don't want to play the deed quite yet. Uh, can't play Drana. Master of the Wild Hunt is pretty sexy, but he's easy to remove. So I think I'm just going to play another Elder, and then next turn I can put Drana into play. I need to start drawing some removal because he's going to he's going to hit like Dominus of Fealty or Spellbound Dragon pretty soon, and I'm going to need some go for the throats. Man, I love this game. Why why don't we play Duels 2013 more? I'm going to have to start uh, I'm going to have to start doing this more often. So what's he got in store for me now? Does he have one of those uh, four-one hasted guys? I can't even remember the goddamn cards. I mean, what is it called? Ah, oh, God, Lightning Elemental, I think it's called. Four mana. Also, there's Steamcore Weird. Uh, if you spend red mana to cast it, it's a one-three. 
It'll do two damage. Five mana. Like I said, he's got the Spellbound Dragons. Dominus of Fealty, which is pretty busted. And I can't believe I don't have any have any removal yet with this deck, so... He's casting Prophetic Bolt to the face, so that's, that's seven damage straight to the face, and he gets to pick a card. So, he gets to look at the top four cards of his library and uh, and grab one of them. So yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty good spell. So, do I just put Drana down in front of that thing? I think I think I have to. Or I could play the Grave. Oh. See, I want to play the Grave Pact. And then and then sacrifice this thing, you know? But that's six mana, and I don't have six mana, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Drana, and next turn is gonna be Great Pact. So I'm just gonna get in for two. Hope I'm not dead here. Hope I'm not dead. I mean, uh, does that deck have Act of Treason in it? If it does, I think I'm just flat out dead. Does that kill me? It gets me to one, but it's only three mana. He could have another spell. So I'm not sure if Act of Treason is in there or not. So we shall see. Drana's a bit of a, a bit of a good card, though. She can uh, she can remove a lot of things. She's pretty uh, she's mana intensive, but she's very powerful. I'm trying to think what he could have here now. Is he going to attack here? I'd, I'd like him not to, because if he does, I'm going to be I'm gonna be frightened to death to block. But I'm kind of going to have to at the same time. He could have multiple spells to to trade with her. No, he doesn't attack, which is kind of good. He plays six mana, so he could have Sphinx, uh, Sphinx of Dwar Isle as a six, uh, six mana five five. He's playing Wand of the Elements. What does that do again? Sacrifice an island, get a sacrifice an so he can sacrifice his lands. So I'm gonna play the Grave Pact, and I'm gonna swing for two. No, I'm not gonna swing for two. He didn't attack me. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Is he gonna use one of the elements? Is he gonna use that one of the elements? Let's see if he taps it. No, he doesn't. So I've still got this uh, activated ability here. He's gone up to seven mana now, so he's in a pretty good spot. I'm only on eight life. Is there any volcanic geysers in that deck? Probably just gonna burn me out. He's probably just gonna burn me out, yeah. Wouldn't be too happy about that. Wand of the Elements. If he uses it, then I'll probably sack this in response. Because if I if I activate this ability, he can use Wand of the Elements in response and sacrifice his brand new creature. So, hmm, he's thinking. He's thinking. Don't know what he could have. He's got three cards in his hand. Volcanic uh, volcanic geyser at this point. If he runs it, I don't know if he does or not. But if he does, it's it's five damage at this point. So he's playing Eric Lightning. Where's he going with that? Is he going all at Drana? Is he going upstairs? So he's putting one on Drana. So he thinks. That I, can, I mean, I know he knows that I can sacrifice this elder, and he's going to use his wand of the elements now to make a creature that he can sacrifice. Yeah. So he's going to sacrifice that. Drana's got three on the back now. So I'm just going to keep getting swamps because Drana likes swamps. So I'm going to have to trade here. Unfortunately, kind of got to. And I don't know if he's got some type of like uh, skiz motivate or thunder strike or some kind of pump to, to win that combat. No, grave pack trigger happens, does nothing. So at least I get it back, I suppose. Um, so he's down to two cards. Uh, I'm gonna jam a master of the wild hunt into play. Yeah, I'm gonna jam master of the wild hunt. Is he gonna counter it? Well, mana leak, I get the three mana open. This is only counter, I forgot that. Okay, so I'm not going to play the D just yet. I can hold on to that till later. At this point, I can uh, I can play it and pop it for five in the same turn. Which would kill my Grey Fact, but, you know, if there's an emergency, it's something that I can do. Invoke the Firevine? Is that just face burn? Oh, he's going to kill the Master. Okay. 
Yeah, he's gonna kill the master. Still only two cards in his hand, but I'm on six life, so I mean, like I said, Volcanic Geyser, if it's in his deck, is uh, is a very real threat. Uh, evolving Wilds, man, I tell ya. Feels like I'm flooding out, but of course I had the uh, I had the two Yavi My Elders, of course, to be stripping all that land, so. Swamp. And. Mutatic Slime, that's a pretty decent combo there with Great Pact. So if he gets any creatures on the board and starts killing my dude. So he's gonna make a flyer, probably, a 2 2. Okay, yeah, he's making a 2-2. Does he have a way to pump it up and kill me, I wonder? Does he have a way, like, Skits Motivate, I think is in there? Does he have that card in his deck? Or is he just getting in for 2? Does he have a... Can he burn me for 4? Volcanic Gods are for 4. Nimizit, the Fire Mind. Okay, that's not good. Uh, wow, where's all my removal? Where's my Maelstrom Pulses? Where's my Gopher the Throats? Where's my edicts? Where is everything? Man, oh man. Where is it? Okay. So I think I'm just dead to that wall. Am I dead to the wand? Um. Am I dead to the wand? I'm gonna lose my grave pact here. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm dead to Niv Mizzet because I cannot activate the pernicious deed for six. I can only hit it for five. So that's kind of shitty. That's kind of shitty. Oh well, game over. Can only hit it for five. Niv Mizzet sticks around. No, I can hit it for six, so I guess I'm just an idiot. Yeah, let's blow up the board. Get two, two, twos. Okay, my math is just absolutely terrible. Yep, math's bad. Okay. Never mind, he still can top deck a burn spell and just kill me. But at least I got some board presence now. Blowing up my own grave pack feels just absolutely terrible. Uh, draw four cards. I think it's four cards off tidings. Yeah, draw four cards. That's pretty busted. That's pretty busted. I don't think I have any life gain in this. Do I have life gain in this deck? Oh, I don't even know. Maelstrom Pulse is good. That's uh, that's removal. So let's just attack him for four and uh, get this sewer nemesis into play. He's got a pretty big graveyard. There's no three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be a really big dude. Sewer Nemesis targeting Coverco Blue. So he's a 12-12. But I just got that, uh, I got that face burn feeling like I'm dead here. Because he just drew four. You know, he just needs some Arc Lightnings or Volcanic Geyser. Could have a breaking point. Oh, I'd, st I'd still have four power on the board, but that'll buy him some time. He's taking another turn, which is, uh, which is fine, I guess. Makes my dude bigger, but, you know, he gets to draw a card. I don't think there's any one mana damage spells in that deck. Not that I can remember, anyway. Not that I can remember. Okay, let's see what he does. I'm really feeling, uh, I'm really feeling the pain here. Down four life. Jesus Christ, man! Come on, don't kill me now. Don't kill me now. Prophetic bolt. He picked it up. What a motherfucker! What a motherfucker! Bolt off the top. All right, all right. I thought I had the bastard. Nope, not to be. Not to be. Defeated once more. All right. Well, that sucks. Okay, on to game three. On to game three. I gotta win one. Jesus, man. I like, you know, this is my show here. He, he can't. He can't come in here and steal the show. Come on. I gotta win. Anyways, let's uh, let's spin the wheel again. Spin the wheel of fortune. Ah. I hope he didn't just troll me with that time warp. I hope he actually did draw it off the top. Because if he just troll... Oh, crosswinds. Okay. I'll play crosswinds. I like blue control. If I'm playing against goblins, though, I'm, I'm probably going to cry. Yeah. I might just quit in a fit of rage if it's uh, if I'm playing against mono red. Even Chandra. Chandra would be a terrible, terrible matchup for this. So what do we got? Let's see. I'm on the play with only two mana. Ah... Uh, I mean, I've got the mana leak, but if I don't draw a land, I'm not looking very good. Should I take the chance? No, I'm not going to. Four land with a leak of repulse and a right. That's a lot better. Okay, let's start off with the old mono blue against covert go blue. Let's see what he's playing this time. Oh, no mountain, no mountain, no mountain, no mountain. Planes, okay. Peacekeepers? Oh, he's playing, uh, I can't even remember the name of this deck. Act of War? March to War? Act, Act of War? Uh, Act of War, I think. 
Okay, so he's got a 1-1 first striker in play. I think that's what that is. Whoops. Let's have a look. Yeah, 1-1 one, one first strike. Okay. Go. So that's 20 turn clock. And I got the mana leak if he tries to uh, enchant it with something. I know there are enchantments in that deck. I don't know if there's any on 2 mana or not. So get in for 1. Love this card here, by the way. 9 mana, 5 tokens. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, land. Uh, I like land. Plain blue. Never hurts to hit all your drops. So we've got the repulse online now. Still got the old mana leak, which is a fantastic counter spell. You gonna go Sky Knight Legionnaire on me? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Don't think I'm gonna let that happen. I don't want that. Okay, in for another one. Now the question is, what else? I don't even know what's in that deck. You know, that's one of those. I played a lot of D13, but there were two decks that I really didn't. Uh, Two decks that I really just didn't build. It was that one and uh, the Demir one, the Rogue's Gallery, I think it was called. Uh, I just didn't build them. You know, I just did not enjoy those decks. So what do we got here? We got another Legionnaire. I think there's four copies in the deck from what I remember. He's playing Scourge of the Nobilis, so I'm going to repulse that. Draw a card. And I got an Archaeomancer, which is good. And he gets to replay that, though, I think, because that's a one drop. Yeah. Okay. All right, buying time. Just buying my time here. Uh, let's hit land drop number five. Not gonna play Archaeomancer yet because I haven't got any one mana spells. So I'll just keep this disperse open in case you get another scourge or another something. Oh, he's just coming in for one. I don't know if there's any combat trickery in this deck. Man, it's so good to be playing with the old decks and, and not knowing what the hell is coming. So five mana. He plays a spite mare. Okay. What does that guy do again? It's like a Boros Reckoner type of thing. Yeah. Talran Sky Summoner. Uh, yeah, we'll play him. He's a good dude. I like Talran. We got two mana open. Kind of wish I had the uh, the mana leak here, but uh, Disperse is fine. I can bounce it back to my hand or bounce something on his side if he tries to kill it with a Lightning Helix or something. So he's uh, he's coming in for three. I'm just gonna take that for now. See if he's got any see, pump action here. He doesn't. He goes six mana in the turn. Okay. So I got an Azure Mage. She's really good. She's uh, she's pretty good. Question is, do I want to write here? I think I'll put the Mage into play. She can draw me cards. I like drawing cards. So I'm just, I'm just gonna sit back here. Just gonna sit back. Take it easy. Hope he doesn't do anything too scary. Got this, uh, got this bounce spell. Got some card draw if I need it. He's still coming for three. I'm just gonna take it unless he, uh, if, unless he's got some trickery. Then I'm gonna respond down to eleven. Seven mana now. So he's still just passing turn. He's got three cards in hand. I don't know what he could have. Is, is he going for lightning helix now? Yeah, he's going for it now. Which is fine. That's okay. Give me a card. There's a fog bank. I like fog bank. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep the card draw engine going because uh, seems pretty sweet just to draw a card every turn. Archaeomancer mana leak is not that great because we're at the stage of the game now where mana leak is just not very good. He's bringing both the guys. He knows I'm not going to block both of them. So I'll do that. Take one. Eight mana for that deck. What could he have? An eight mana. I know there's Bright Flame in the deck, which is a nice X spell. But I got Dispersed. I can counter that. He's playing. What is this thing? Hammer Fist Giant. Four damage to each creature without flying, and each player. And then that through the. Uh, does he have to, is that tap ability? Yeah, it's a tap ability. Okay. Alright. Draw a card. Sphinx of Lost Truths. Another Azure Mage. What is it? The kicker on this is. Kicker on this is. That's a 7 mana play. Draw 3 cards. So if he goes Hammer Fist and taps that. 
deals 4 damage to each creature without flying, and each float deals 4 damage to itself. It'll deal 4 damage to this guy, which he gets to point wherever he wants. And, uh, what do I want to do with this? Do I bounce his spite mirror after he does that? I think I... You might not even do that. I'm gonna kick this. This is probably bad. Let's kick it. Get a 3-5 flyer and 3 carrots. There we go. And a land drop. And do I put a fog bank into play? Seems kinda good. Put a fog bank into play. Where do I keep up? I'm gonna keep up disperse. Yeah. I'm gonna keep up disperse. So, 8 mana, 2 cards in hand. I don't know if he's gonna tap that thing or not. Lightning Serpent, what the hell is that? Trample Haste. With a bunch of counters on it. Okay. Let's uh, see what he brings. That's a 9 1 Trample Haste. That's a pretty big dude. He's bringing that. that for sure. Yeah, let's just disperse it. I'm gonna have to deal with that next turn. I'm gonna have to deal with that next turn. Hmm. Well then, ten mana, do I what do I kick a right on? What do I kick a right on? Do I kick it on Spite Mare? Do I make five Spite Mares? That feels pretty good. If he taps his, uh... If he taps his thing... Yeah, I'll make five Spite Mares. Actually, he could have countered that spell. I'm an idiot, that was a bad play. All he had to do was tap his hammer fist, and he would have killed his own spite mirror and countered the spell. But then again, I don't know, that's probably bad for him anyway. Not sure. Not sure if that was good or not. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take bribery. Absolutely gonna take bribery. That's an amazing spell. Uh I don't even think I uh, yeah. Probably bad. Love this card. This card is insane. So that's three damage. Uh, so let's see if we get that old trampling hasting thing coming again. I'm tapped out though. I mean, he could do some kind of nonsense here. I don't know what Bright Flame would do. I, I can't even. I know the card like gains you life and deals you damage or something, but I can't remember what it does. It has radiance. I don't even remember what radiance does. God, this is so. Uh, this is so confusing playing when you don't know what the cards even do and what cards are even in the deck. It's fun. So here comes the serpent. It's a big dude. So I'm just gonna have to uh, throw a bunch of stuff in front of it. He's bringing it. So yeah, I guess I just do that. Tap the, the giant now. Let's go ahead and let's go on. So he taps that. He, he makes his choice. Goes to my face, and I go to him. Him. I get to go five times because he wipes the board. I don't think that kills me though. Hope it doesn't. I'm down to two as far as I understand. Oh, sure, mine, mine resolve first. Yeah, have nap and all that. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Got out of that one. Uh, got out of that one just barely. Oh my goodness. I'm lucky I kept that disperse up because that uh, that what you call it thingy, serpent thingy, would have killed me uh, the first time he cast it. So yeah, five spike mercs was pretty good. Though I, I think he should have. Uh, I think he should have tapped his uh, his giant and killed his own so that it, it uh, fizzled the spell. But 
anyways, I don't know if he had a if he had a grand master plan there or if he just missed it. I missed it. I mean, you know, if I had seen it, I wouldn't have even put it on the stack in the first place. So let's uh, let's spin the wheel again. Let us spin it one more time, and we are gonna play. We are gonna play Rogue's Gallery. Oh, I was just talking about how bad this deck is. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Well, this is going to be the final game now. We just ticked up over half an hour, so we'll play out this game and, uh, and that'll be the episode. So, Rogue's Gallery. This deck is a piece of trash. So bad, we have to play Barony Vampire. It's a vanilla 3-2 for 3 mana. Yeah. On the draw, I mean, I have an Agony Warp, which is probably one of the best spells in the deck. Uh, I've got the 3 drop, and I do have Laquatus' Champion, which is a strong card, so... I'm going to keep... Uh, but I don't know. This deck really just blows. Maybe we got a mirror match, though. Oh my goodness, he's going uh, Terramorphic into blue. We could have a Rogue's Gallery should show mirror match here. That'd be pretty exciting, actually. That would be exciting. So let's play the Terramorphic and see if he untaps and plays the Swamp. He could be playing uh, Mana Mastery, though. That's an option, because that has... Uh, uh, he's playing Sky and Scale. Sky and scale, okay, that's uh, that's not a terrible shit show. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? When you play the same deck against each other? Mirror match, yeah, it's not a terrible shit show, mirror match. Uh, Agony Warp, do I want to Agony Warp? Do I wanna... Yeah, I want to keep that open just in case he does. I'm, I'm not going to kill that Jesse Infiltrator this turn, but... Like I said, I can't remember what cards are in each deck, I have, I have no idea. So I don't know if he's got any pump spells or something. If he does, I, I want to have a, a response here, so... Looks like I'm just taking two. Jesse Neal Traders, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, unblockable. Uses the old template. And he's playing lower scale Kotal. So that's a 2-2 uh, two, two snake that he gets a plus one, plus one counter every time uh, he draws a card. Do I put down Barony Vampire? Do I? Do I put... See, I can't remember if there's any buff spells in that deck. I don't, I don't think there are. I don't, I'm just going to put down Vampire so he doesn't swing with uh, with the lore scale. Or maybe he does and has a trick, I don't know. But yeah, Barony Vampire, man, oh man, Rogue's Gallery. What a bad deck. So that's 3-3 now. Uh, I don't know if he can draw a card or not. Whistle Sulky, he draws a card, so that's kind of shitty. Now it goes straight to a 4-4. I should have kept the Agony warp, warp open, but I, uh, I didn't think he could get it to a 4-4 this turn. So that kind of blows blows a lot actually but uh, that's all you can do that's all you can do when you're playing rogues gallery another barony vampire he's in trouble he's in trouble now yeah let's just get a swamp out of this anyway let's keep the agony warp up wow this is just this deck is so bad why did I have to land on this deck why because the game hates me. <laughs> the game hates me. Alright, so. Can he draw another card? He knows I got the warp up. I don't, although, I don't know how much studying he's been uh, he's been doing on the game. Maybe he remembers Agony Warp. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't know I have Agony Warp. Maybe not. So let's find out. Is he bringing the team? Obviously the unblockable's coming. The other 2 is coming. No, he's leaving that home. He knows better. So I'm just gonna trade with this thing. Yes, I got I got another uh, I got another Barony Vampire for that. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything to deal with the 5-5. Five five. Um, Ribbons of Night is in here, I think. Ooh, this is good. I like this. I have something in here to deal with the 5-5 five five if I can untap with it. Yeah, it's not that great again against Metodic Slime because I gotta kill it seven friggin' times. So now he's just gonna punch me in the face uh, with a lot, a lot of stuff. So I think what I'm gonna claustrophobia? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god! Just, just I got one out in this deck, man. Like have, have you know, take it easy on me. All right. Well, there's only I can survive this turn, but I don't know what's the point. Uh, so let's agony warp uh, minus three, minus zero. Let's go here, and minus zero, minus three. Let's go there. 
so. We get to survive for one turn. Down to three. Coiling Oracle, so he gets to look at the top card, I think, and either put it into play if it's land, yeah, or put it into his hand if it's not. But there's really nothing I can do here. I got another Agony Warp. Uh, Laquatus is champion. You know, if I had seven mana, I could regenerate it, and it would look a lot better. But I don't. So. This fucking thing, though. Come on, man. Why'd you have to have that? Like, really? I thought I was going to make a game of this thing. But anyways, I can't regenerate it. But I do get to gain six life. So. Anyway. That's... What? I thought I got to gain six life. Oh, no. It just burns him. Oh. I thought he lost six and I gained six. Probably should read the card before you play it. Not that there's anything in my hand that I could have done there. I don't know. I don't even think an Agony Warp would have... Uh, maybe a Barony Vampire plus Agony Warp would have kept me alive for another turn, but... That's just delaying my misery. I'm not even going to block here. I'm just going to take the pounding. Wow. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, yeah, Rogue's Gallery. That kind of sucked. But that's it. It's in the game. It's in the game, EA Sports would say. So uh, there's your throwback Thursday, some uh, Duels 2013. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see. Because uh, Covert is uh, he's certainly willing to play me in, in Duels 2013, 2014, whatever we want to play. Just dick around a little bit. So uh, hope you enjoyed the games, and uh, we'll see you next week.